Hello everybody, it's me again, and welcome back to Unity Shenanigans. I took a little break in between my about three hour long session of uh, Rogue Shenanigans that I just did today. And I, a lot happened actually. I had a ham and cheese sandwich, a bowl of chili with some cornbread biscuits, it was delicious. And oh yeah, we hit 400 subs. <gasps> ah! I'm so excited, so just thank you guys so much. Damn it. These guys had to fuck up my intro. Anyway, thank you all so much for showing the support of the channel and uh, continuing to grow the subscriber base. I love you guys so much, and I'm working on the 400 subs montage as soon as I'm done with this. I've got... You're, you're welcome. Bienvenue, monsieur. What was I saying? Yeah, I've got some work already done on the 400 subs montage, but not a whole lot. So, uh, probably within the next week it'll come out. But just thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. I love doing this, and I, I love it that you guys like watching my videos, and uh, I'm happy that I'm entertaining to some of you. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But anyway, we're going to wander around the open world for a little bit, because I was I just tried to do that mission in part 19, and uh, didn't go very well. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and just wander around the open world and get some upgrades and customization stuff. Speaking of customization, let's go ahead and just put on a funny outfit right now. Oh, it's awesome. <gasps> I wore this around for a little bit. Arno, you're a schmexy thing. Where was that tailored midi- Yes, this. I love this. I'm putting this on immediately. Oh, I wore that for a while. I really like that. When I would wander around in the open world by myself or with friends, I'd put on a random outfit. And that just looks funny. Oh my god. I don't have enough money. Damn it! I want to put on something cool! Oh. Okay. I'm putting this on. 250? Why not? Sweet! Oh my god, that looks so cool. Okay, so we've got some of this stuff. I'll keep my forearms and waist and legs. This is one of my favorites, the Uplay, the turquoise and yellow. But it doesn't exactly look good with this. Ooh. <laughs> you know what? I gotta do this. I do this a lot in the open world by myself, too, and just put on the yellow. I call it the Beninja. Quite fitting. Yes, so okay. We're the Beninja. The customized Beninja. Yeah! <laughs> I also, I bought a new sword um, right at the end of last episode. I'm not sure if I cut that out or not. But yeah, it's, um, I forget what it is. But let I me mean, just, sorry, I'm just showing off my sword. Yeah, it's a cool sword. I forget the name of it, though. And yeah, so I think what we're going to start off with is I'm going to find a murder mystery somewhere. Because I haven't done one of those on camera yet. Forgive me, I'm going to go do your job for you. Don't mind me. Move out the way. Yeah! 19 out of 30. Alright then, I've got a bit of a walk ahead of me. But let's go. Let's do this murder mystery right over here. Add anything that we fancy along the way. Piss on your corpse. Dick! That was a snap! <laughs> Almost there, ladies and gents. I love this hood. This hood is awesome. It makes me look like a banana covered in chocolate syrup. Or fudge, whichever you prefer. Delicious. Okay, oh. Is that what I think it is? I hope not. Except in track. Inside the bag there are several bones, including a human skull with a gold tooth. Okay. Gold tooth. An investigation zone. Hey, you. What do you know? I found that badge sitting in the mud. Did you see? A mm. gold tooth. I only know one man with a gold tooth. He lives with his daughter on the Rue de la Belle Rue, number five. A young man. Okay, a boatman. Gotcha. Statement of the boatman. Always review the evidence. Found the bag on the shore, saw a gold tooth in it, claims to know a man with a gold tooth who lives with his daughter at 5 Rue de la Verrière, or however you say it. Verrière, something. Something like that. Okay, what about you? What do you know? What, a gold tooth? Not many folks with gold teeth. There's a barman right close by, at the Limping Dog Tavern. I'd hate to think he's been killed. Limping Dog Tavern. Okay. Could be the same guy, could not be the same guy. Claims the bartender at the local tavern has a gold tooth. The tavern is nearby. Tavern du Chin Ki. Good lord. How about Limping Dog Tavern? That would be easy. Alright. You! 
you have a gold tooth, speak to excuse me, speak what to me. It? You do. Gold tooth? Yeah, this front one right here. I'm damn proud of it. Real tooth got knocked out in a bar fight. Hmm. Okay, so it's not you, obviously, but you could have done it. You could have done it. Okay, I think that's all that's in here. Not, not, not right now. I'm gonna go, okay, so I guess it's the guy with the daughter. Sucks to be the daughter. Maybe the daughter did it. Who knows? Asses! Leave him alone! Where are the stairs? Are no stairs. You're hooded, aren't you? I'm not suggesting you're an assassin, but I'm suggesting you're hiding from something. Hi. Am I interrupting something? Bella's father went out to make some purchases three days ago and never returned. Oh. The grandmother's always making lists of errands for him. Grandmother makes errands. Jamie MacArthur. Scottish tradesman claims Bella's father disappeared after leaving to run errands given to him by Bella's grandmother. Claims he was about to ask the father of Bella's... Ooh. Alright, well maybe the father said no. And Jamie found a way around that. I haven't ruled you out. I know how this shit works. Can I not talk to you? I guess not. Oh, they just killed somebody. Can I really not talk to you, though? Like, I can. Okay. I can't sleep. I scarcely eat. My father has disappeared. He's easily recognized. Tall, has a gold front tooth. He can be rather strict, but he has my best interests at heart. Hmm. Always review the evidence. Daughter of missing man describes her father was tall with a distinctive gold tooth. Claims he's a strict man with her best interests at heart. Yeah! I think you did it. I think you did it. Maybe he already asked, and the father said no. And the guy was like, well, fuck you, and killed him. Oh, you... you dickweed! Chicken! Oh. I'm... I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Alright, I'll go. I thought certain rules didn't apply to me, but apparently not. There is someone else I can talk to. That must be the grandmother. I didn't even see her. Because she was up here. I wasn't paying attention because I am a dumb person. There you go. Get down. Or no, all the way down. Thank you. Are you the grandmother? Yes. I'm the girl's grandmother. Bless her heart. I'm too frail to run errands, so her father would do them. I'd given him a list and set him out to buy some things. I don't remember everything that was on that list, but I did want some things from the merchant right down the street on Rue de Lombard. Rue de Lombard. Okay. Bella's house, clues three of four. Oh, what is this? Letter from Jamie. To Bella. Okay. You know the depth of my love for you. My every breath is a sigh, sigh for you. I will always be yours, despite all obstacles. The return address is Jamie MacArthur, 3 Rue Burton Poiret. Poiret? I think? Despite all obstacles. Suspicious indeed. Okay, now I'm done here. Now I need to go to Jamie's house. Wherever the hell that is. Is that it over there? Yeah, right down the street, she said. Okay. Going to Jamie's house. I hit B to jump out the window, if you don't mind. I didn't want to talk to you again, you old hag. Oh, hi. Martin Laval, shopkeeper. Oh, yes. The man with the gold tooth. A few days ago, he came by, bought shoes and sundries. His next stop was a butcher's shop he'd never visited before. Asked me where it was. He left his list behind. Oh, sweet. Yes, please. Give me. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Shopkeeper claims man with gold tooth came to shop to buy shoes and other items. The man's next stop was a butcher shop. 
The man asked the shopkeeper where this butcher was located. The man left his list behind. Oh, it's right here next to him. Leather shoes, cloth, brush. General store, 12 Rue des Lombards. The next entry is a butcher shop, but the address is crossed out. In a different hand is written, Sausages Butcher Shop 3. Someone tampered with the note. Why would they want to hide the butcher shop? Okay, five clues here. These are so deep and, like, intense. I love them. More bags. Ah, oh, those like the bags the body was kept in. Contains a pair of woman's leather shoes, a bolt of cloth, and other small items. This was his bag. He was here. Oh, wait. That was a bucket. Let me... Bucket. Bucket! Thank you for blocking it. Ooh, that looks nasty. Overflowing with half-ground organs, probably from an animal. Huh? How much you want to bet it's not? <laughs> oh, God. What's wrong with you? Groggy bump on the head. I must have been out for a while. Took a real blow to the head. Fella came in here. I thought he was a customer. Then he jumped in my own shop. He was wearing a tradesman's coat and a three-corner hat. Oh, he had some kind of crazy accent. Scottish, maybe? Am I good or am I good? Guy with the Scottish accent came up inconspicuously and just smacked him on the head. I still have... Oh, right, the bags, the bags, the bags, the bags, the bags. Right, 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 right. Similar to the bag found on the shore, contains pig bones. Alright, then. I still have one more piece of evidence to find around here. Excuse me, what is this? Give it! I love how the database pop-ups just block it. Some meat cleavers and used aprons. Okay. Some meat cleavers and used aprons. That's literally all it is. Okay. Well, I'll assume that's not animal blood. I still have to get to Jamie's house, whoever that is. Where is- Damn it. Probably not from an animal. Oh, well, hello. I'm just gonna go. Wait. Down here! Nothing. Escaping guards. Escaping guards. Oh my god, I am so good. But now I'm down in the sewers and I have no idea how to get out. There's stairs off that way. Get me out of here. All right, here we go. Found the stairs. Back up we go, except now I have no idea which one I'm going for, so I guess these are the closest. Which one is Jamie's house? Is that Jamie's house? Might be. Well, how do I- Is there an open window somewhere? Sorry, woman didn't mean to scare you. Oh, here we go. Get down, man. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Jamie's house. Either here or up further. Up further. <laughs> Here's something. Something he tried to throw in the fire? Jamie's house, crumpled letter. Leave my daughter alone. Your attentions are unwanted. Bella is meant for a much better match. She will certainly not carry a ridiculous Scotsman. I forbid you from seeing her again. Am I good or am I good? Seriously. <laughs> I watch way too much Law & Order. Alright, what's this? A series of love letters from Bella to Jamie. I love you so, but I'm in despair. My father simply will not allow our union. It's the fiancé. Absolutely. Like, seriously? I- He was my top suspect. I hadn't even visited all the locations yet, and I was like, it's this guy, for this very reason, and sure enough. I'm so good! Okay, now, where the hell is he? Which location is he at? He's at the location with the three, I think, over here. <laughs> Oh boy, doesn't this place look familiar? <laughs> yeah! Nice grab, Arno. Alright, you toss pot. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 
It's you. Bella's father went out to make some purchases three days ago and never returned. The grandmother's always making lists of errands for him. It's you. For the exact reason I suspected. It's you. Yes. I turned him into mincemeat and he deserved it. Old miser. Yeah! I'm just, I'm so good at this. <laughs> oh my god. That was crazy. It was like my first theory of the crime and it was correct. I need to watch, I need to watch less Law and Order reruns. I swear. It's like all I watch now besides Seinfeld reruns. And What Would You Do? That's a good show. But, oh my word, those are fun! I should have chopped you up into haggis as well. Hey, good luck with that. Good luck with that indeed. Speak to him. Alright, wake up! Chopped him up, eh? Nasty business. Well, pick a weapon. Thank you! No false accusations! So, okay, I assume I unlocked something. Le Toy Polaire? Oh, that sounds cool. Le Toy? Oh, I should have raided it! Oh, damn it! Case, sum case summary. Frustrated by Bella's father's refusal to allow him to marry Bella, Jamie MacArthur concocted a plan to make him disappear. He intercepted one of the grandmother's frequent errand lists and wrote the address of an out-of-the-way butcher shop on it. He then knocked out the butcher, waited until Bella's father arrived, killed him, and ground him up into haggis using the implements found there at the butcher shop. He disposed of the bones by tossing them into an old butcher sack and throwing it into the river. It's a tough one, isn't it? Damn. Okay, now I want to take a look at that thing he gave me. Polaire. I assume that's a long weapon? Oh, snap! <laughs> look at that! Wow! Oh my god, it's a porcupine on a stick. Holy crap, that's amazing. Oh, if it wasn't so expensive and had less damage, parry, and speed than I already have with my sword, I would totally put that on. Oh shit, he's stalking me! Oh my god, he totally knows I'm here!